Hey there, seekers of style, knowledge, and all that good stuff. Joe here from Style by Joe. I'm here with some health and wellness tips from not such an average Joe. Now, a couple years ago, I was at the gym, and I'm on the stationary bike with my headphones on, and I'm watching the TVs, and across the top it said, scientists come to the conclusion that it is more expensive to eat healthier. We need a scientist research to prove that? Duh. I get it. It is expensive to eat healthier. But I'm going to give you 11 things that are budget-friendly, fit body shopping list. So, number one are bananas. Bananas are incredibly healthy. Now, they're great for breakfast. They're great for a snack. You throw them in a smoothie bang for the buck. Number two is low sodium canned tomatoes. The work's done for you. They're in a can. I don't care if they're diced. I don't care if they're pureed. I don't care if they're stewed. The work is done for you. It's cheaper than you doing it yourself. Unless, of course, you have a garden, which becomes a completely different. But there are so many things you can do. You can make stews with it. You can make sauces with it. You can make chilies with it. Why low sodium? I'm not that wild about like, oh, low sodium, low sodium. But when it comes to cooking, if you buy low sodium, you need a little bit more sodium in it, you add it yourself. You control what's going into it. Three, eggs. Over easy, soft boiled, omelet. There's just so many things you can do. They're great for breakfast. They're great for lunch. They're great for dinner. They're a good snack. Bang for your buck. Number four is canned beans. Again, go with low sodium. You can add the salt in if it's not salty enough for you. But there's so many different things you can do in it. A black bean salsa. Um, get chickpeas. You make your own hummus. You can make a tangine. You can make a soup, a stew. Number five is frozen produce. It's frozen at the height of its flavor. They pick it peak season. Have you ever gone to make a recipe that calls for two bags of spinach, you cook it and it wilts down to this tiny little bit? That's already been done for you. Number six are your whole grains. I mean, again, so many different things you can do with that. Number seven are ground meats. Uh, beef, turkey, chicken, tacos, burgers. I mean, it's endless what you can do with them. Go for a low fat. You control what's going into it. Number eight are herbs and spices. Again, they're picked at the peak of flavor. You can keep them for six months, a little bit longer, but everybody says six months. Number nine are your, root, are your root vegetables. I mean, you've seen me, I do roasted vegetables. Um, your potatoes, your sweet potatoes, the nutrients in them are so good. They're so inexpensive. Number 10, I know some of you are gonna cringe, but sardines. I know, I know. But you top them on pizza, you put them in sauce and it melts down. You serve them over salad, you serve them over pasta. Again, so many different things you can do it. And number 11, which is kind of a no-brainer, but really, seasonal fresh foods. The fruits and vegetables that are in season now are the ones that are going to be less expensive. The ones that they have to ship in from the warmer climates or wherever are going to be more expensive. Number 12, which is kind of a bonus, um, and it, it wasn't going to be featured, but number 12 for me is in the grocery store, in the farmer's markets. I always go to where they have the less than fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, the fruits are great for smoothies. They're great for pies. They're inexpensive. The vegetables, again, a soup, a stew, an oven roasted vegetable. There's so many different things you can do it, do with them. Granted, I, I know everybody nowadays are trying to save money. We're trying to look good. And here were 12 things that you can keep in your refrigerator, in your pantry, that are going to be budget friendly, that aren't going to kill your diet. Hey folks, this has been Joe from Style by Joe with 
health and wellness tips from not such an average Joe, which of course is this Joe right here. Folks, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Style by Joe. Style by Joe is also my Instagram. Style You by Joe is my Facebook and my Twitter and my Gmail. Please continue to share these videos with your friends because they deserve to be just as stylish and knowledgeable as you are. Folks, stay stylish and I'll talk to you soon.